Hello everybody, Dr. Mixable here, and today I have a Minecraft tutorial, and um, so it's gonna, hopefully going to go up on the Minecraft.net channel. I'm just going to submit it and see what happens, otherwise it'll just be on my channel. And it is a tutorial for an automated wheat farm that is pretty compact for a decent amount of uh, harvest. It doesn't take too many materials either, um, and it can be combined with others that are exactly the same, and you can just keep combining and combining them, so it could be really... Um, I guess you could combine it on top as well, uh, if you, I guess it's possible, to, uh, but mainly side by side to make it longer, and uh, I'll show you what I mean later. So first you want to start out by making a one, gosh, I'm just going to do this in dirt so it's a little more obvious, um, that's soul sand, that is not dirt, uh, there we go, so you want to make it seven long, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you want to loop it and go another seven. So just line it up there. Uh, is it about to be night? Oh, no, okay. All right, and then in the middle, you want to take a bucket of water. And actually, let's, then we want to start with that. Okay, so then you want to take some clean stone is what I'm going to use, or any block, basically. You can do any block for this. And you want to make a plus shape like... I'll show you like that so that there's a hole right there and then you want to come back and expand this just three back no 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 four back sorry and then you want to take a sticky piston and you want to place it right here you want to take another one you want to place it right here and you want to take a repeater here and here both on the first notch, those are right behind the pistons, and you want to take redstone and just connect them. And then you can drag it off and just bring it underground, and oops, then you just want to dig up to where you're going to put your lever, so like here, and you just want to connect it, and you probably want to repeat the signal right about, you don't have to repeat the signal, I think it would actually reach, but it's always safe to put a repeater and just carry it. And then you would just take some dirt and you would, oop, don't want to fly, cover, nope, we got to leave that one open, cover this over so that you can just hide some of the redstone. Um, and then right under there, or where that one goes, you want to put a lever so that it carries the signal. Um, and then you want to have it on so that these pistons are extended and keeping the blocks in place here. And once you have that done, you want to take a bucket of water. And since ice is right there, I'm just going to take ice, and I'm going to put a piece of ice there. And just destroy it. Oh, that didn't work. Just kidding. It's in creative mode. <laughs> okay, so I do need a bucket of water. Um, so, bucket of water. And then you want to put a bucket of water under there as well, so that it flows out right there. But what you're going to want to do after that is take a pressure plate and just place it right there so it stops the water flow. Then, you're going to take a diamond hoe, or not diamond hoe, any hoe, whatever, it doesn't really matter, and uh, pick a hoe, any hoe, and then you're just going to till the ground, so that's where you're going to put your seeds, obviously. Then, what you want to do is you want to take some stone, and you want to encase this, like so. And what I like to do is I like to actually go ahead and fill all of this in, but I'm not going to do that, and you just know, it just... You can make it fit in a wall, so you don't actually have to worry about this, or you can make it out in the open like I'm doing. But basically, all you need to you can just completely hide it, as I'll show you later. Um, but I'm just going to make the basic outline. So basically, the point is you need blocks on either side, of one above, so that it'll block the water flow, as I'll show you. So then all you need to do from here, actually, it's pretty simple, is take your seeds. And we're almost done here. And so you just take your seeds fly up so I don't step on it and plant and just to show you it works and we don't have to wait so we don't have to wait for it to grow I'm just gonna bone meal it all up and then I'm gonna show you how it works and so basically what will happen now is oh wait sorry first you also need to place stone all along the middle and between the two up until the very last one and then all you need to do is flick god dang it flick the switch let me go get another lever. Um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was here. Yeah. Flick the switch, 
and the water will come and push all the crops right down under that pressure plate and that won't happen if you cover the top so there won't be any wheat flying up there um, and so it just flows all right there because the water will come down along the sides and then just flow into that middle piece and it'll land right there on the pressure plate um, so that's what these side bricks are for so that's really simple it only takes two sticky pistons and a little bit of redstone to carry the wire back like if you wanted to you would only need a little, like maybe ten pieces of redstone have it just right there if you really wanted to walk all the way back and two repeaters and two buckets of water you don't even need to have it filled up all the way one pressure plate and place to put your seeds um, and so I think I can wrap this up before it becomes night and this is uh, what I did beforehand and you can actually have multiple combined as you see here and if you want to have it so that it doesn't ha need sunlight all the time you can just put glowstone on the top or oops or if you really wanted to you could destroy this glowstone and make it so that it goes and you have torches and it goes like up one here like so and then you would just have torches along the top so instead of glowstone it would just be torch light coming from the top so you don't even need glowstone um, but basically see as you can see I have it all encased here so you can't see any of the redstone wiring and it has two combined right next to each other and you actually it's safer to have this this three space in between um, but you wouldn't really need it I don't think you would need at least one space in between um, but you don't need three space and so it's the same thing it's just all the same length and you just put them next to each other and you can continue this all going next to each other and just take all the wiring as I'll show you here um, as you see I just took hold on I have to open this up um, but yeah you can case it all as you can see uh, you just take the wiring and you line it all up and you just bring it together in one spot so if you wanted to continue out this way you would just like your signal would come from right over here and it would just come in and meet up with this signal and you would just have to repeat it however many times depending on how long it is and when you flick the switch as I'll show you I have it hooked up so that water comes out of both ways and it, and it works I just don't have wheat in there right now to show you so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you have any questions on how it works feel free to leave a comment or just rewatch the video so that you can check to see how it works and now I'll just give you a quick overview um, and I hope this helped